Hello everyone, a quick recording to show you the CDR environment that we have. I'm going to try to do like a full end-to-end -end so you can see uh, how good you can use the environment. I think it will be just easier for me than actually writing the documentation really. So the first thing you need to go is going on cdr.docs.for.financial. It's going to be like a Postman uh, services that allows you to download uh, or collection environment. So you click run in Postman and you should have this collection loaded in there. Don't forget to select the environment on top right, you should find a CDR for drop mockbook there. Right, so once you have that, you can use it as well as a documentation. I should have a daily day example if I haven't just book me. Anyway, um, you got that, so you got the Postman collection, you can verify it works. You just do a nice discovery and you can see what area you and you see the environment and you get some scopes you're good from there um, so what you need to do now is you need to add some certificates on SSA uh, and that's for that you need to go to the directory so it's a very um this book is really based on open banking UK especially the directory which is exactly the same to be honest um, so you go in there you register you should arrive in here you create a software statement once you get a software statement, you can fulfill the form that you've got in front of you. I put like an image, which is interesting because it's showing the consent page. And then you download your keys. So the keys are exposed the same way as your public keys and you get your transport signing key. What I did is I downloaded my public and private keys and I've uploaded in Postman. I'm going to show you that in a second. If you're interested to see the SSA, you can also do it with the UI. Uh, obviously, it's exactly the same as the UK. I haven't done any change there. Um, although you, you begin to use the REST API for that, it's just a bit nicer to get the SSAs that way. Right, so you got everything you need, right? So just make sure you download your transport certificates and you're good to go. So put it somewhere nice and then go in Postman, Preference, um, Certificates, and you can see I've added it already there. Uh, basically, what you need to do is adding this domain, right? Which is saying that for all the CDR um, for drug domain uh, you want to use, and then you select the certificates as a pen first, and then the dot key, and you click add, and you should be good. Once you've done that, you should see in this same point that you got a different role, right? So, all good there. So when you got your certificate set up, you can do the dynamic registration. Um, a few endpoints are just here to make it work with Postman. So that one is just to get the uh, issue ID. Um, you can see that from the test here, which was we're saving information. Each time we're doing some some requests, you can look at in the test tab and look at what we save actually in the Postman uh, memory. So here we save the software statement ID which is the thing here we were we need for later then we get an ssa right the same way we store it in ssa dot which allow us when we do our well, registration dot to get the ssa there we use private key dot which is what you use in cdr right so you can your ssa uh, well, your registration job and then you can onboard and then you go so we can already start spotting some differences with the uk um the scope obviously uh is the main one and not the only one i think to be honest um the rest will be very simple to adapt if needed um private key drops is the one we'll be using today and if we do the test materialist again uh, you can see that um we are registered and yes, we translate um, what you ask as AISP, basically. Cool, so now let's try to use the API. So the first thing you notice is that there is no fine grain, so there is no concept of creating consent. You directly go straight to the point or to the authorization point and you need a request parameter. And this is where the difference starts to be uh, very significant because here you directly set all the scopes and you also uh, don't specify the consent ID, obviously, because you don't have one, right? Um, so it's a very classic uh, OIDC request, I would say. So you create your request parameter and then you do your app before. So in Postman, we just use this trick to, this trick to build a request. Uh, so basically, I just 
use postman to copy it and then now I'm going to clean all my web browser. I'm no Alice, right? I'm Alice and I want to do an account sharing with the awesome TPP. So I log in as Alice. So if you're interested, it's Alice change it, but you can create users if you like. Um right, so now I'm logging I'm being said that this is the TPP I want to share the information. I can select accounts that I don't want to share, like that one, and I click proceed. Right, so the, the people that are aware of the monkey you can, can really see that I really took a lot of things from there and I think that's the value of actually reusing things I've been working for two years. Um, so during that time uh, I'm just doing the exchange code, I put the code here, a client session here and I get the access token, right? So that's very good, so that allows me to consume the endpoint. And like you can see, um, you get only the two accounts I've been sharing, and it's in the uh, CDR format. So I've only did three, three endpoints. I think it's enough to show that it works. Hello, and 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 the balance here and the transaction. So here you go. So I already kind of um, for like for for customers, I already did implement a TPP like that does exactly this flow, and it works perfectly. Um, so I'm sure that some TPPs will already be able to make some progress, even if a lot of things are very similar to, to the Open Bank in UK. The things to remember is because uh, we reuse a lot of things on the stack that has been done for Open Bank in UK. So it means that it's fabric conformance um, without efforts, right? I'm pretty sure it's fabric conformance because all the code that's been uh, certified is also used in there. Um, so that's really the value, I would say, of being able to do like a layer on top of Open Bank in UK to make it uh, a CDR flavor. So I hope you enjoyed that video and that would help you um, see the work that we've done and try to use this system potentially. Thank you.